men are trash, okay? First of all. What's up guys, it's Selena and if you're new here, welcome! It has been such a long time since I filmed the video and I'm so sorry. I have been so caught up with doing college online and I started a new job. Like there's just been so many things going on so I am very sorry. I did this Q&A on my channel, I mean on my Instagram, like almost two months ago and I have not sat down to film this video so these these questions are from the Q&A that I did on my Instagram a few months ago. If you missed that Q&A, make sure you follow me on Instagram, that way you can participate in the next one. The first question is, what is your major? So, my major is Medical Humanities, and just to give you guys a quick summary, so if you want to go into medicine, like if you want to go to medical school or to nursing school or something, but you don't necessarily want to ma major in biology, chemistry, biochemistry, things like that that are science-based. There is Medical Humanities. It's a newer program at many of many schools that it shows you how medicine is related to religion, literature, um, music, philosophy, psychology, um, things like that. It's very... I don't know. I like it a lot. Those are always the subjects that I have excelled in in school. So finding out how medicine relates to all of those things, also ethics and things like that, I think it's really interesting. So I absolutely love my major. I'm already in my second year. I've taken so many interesting classes and I'm just, I just love my major, I really do, so. The next question, I actually got this question a few times. It says, how stressful has college been and how have you been managing college during the pandemic? So, I'm kind of like torn because certain weeks I feel like it's too much and certain weeks I feel like I've done no work so like I, I haven't felt as stressed as I have in past semesters I feel like I'm kind of in the middle at this point that I'm not like super super stressed I think the most stressed that I was was during midterms but my assignments are not that difficult so if you didn't hear in my last video I'm taking five classes this semester I have anatomy and physiology Italian psychology death and dying and music and film so basically out of those classes the most stressful is anatomy obviously taking anatomy online has to have been the worst thing and i signed myself up to take anatomy 2 next semester online too so we'll see how that goes but managing college throughout the pandemic you just have to know time management if you do not manage your time well enough Online school is going to be a lot more stressful than it needs to be. So make sure that you take some time to do a face mask, take some time to watch some Netflix and some YouTube videos, but also make sure that you're dedicating the necessary amount of time to succeeding in your classes, to studying, to completing your assignments. And if you have questions, reach out to your professor because some things can be so unclear when everything is fully online so reach out to your professors if you think that you're like a little confused or a little bit lost and i promise you it will go so much better for you but if you need some help with your time management and your organization you can watch my last video which was a productive day in my life so the next question is what is my favorite show or movie so i have not had very much time to watch tv recently i used to be really into netflix over the summer and i have not had time to watch tv recently but my favorite show at the moment that i'm watching on netflix is falsa identidad my top top favorite show that i have watched on netflix of all time is el dragon the return of a warrior it's a spanish telenovela that it's like about a drug cartel like it's a lot a lot of drugs, a lot of um, bad things, but I love it. It was such a good show, so I loved El Dragon. I'm watching Falsa Identidad, which is like, all right. I watched The Challenge. I watch um, the sequel to The Fosters. What is that called? Good Trouble. I like that show a lot, and I watch Chicago Med. I love watching medical shows, but I haven't watched Grey's Anatomy. So those are um, the TV shows that I've been watching. How do you make time to read your Bible? So this is a really good question because for young people, for some reason, it is especially difficult for them to read the Bible. And I don't know why that is. For me personally, I didn't start reading my Bible until last year. Like I was already 18 years old, an adult. Like I hadn't even, I had never even thought about reading the Bible prior to that. So the main thing that I would say in terms of making time for it is doing it when you want to do it so it's so the main thing in terms of 
making time for your Bible is doing it when you want to do it because you want to do it and not because anyone else is telling you. So the main reason why people end up not making time to read their Bible is because too many people are telling them you have to read the Bible, you have to read the Bible. It has to come from your heart in order for you to actually consciously tr start to make time for it. So for me personally, I only read the Bible when I feel led to read the Bible or if I really just want to get into in intimacy, a moment of intimacy and um, God sometimes brings me to a certain scripture or something like that, then I'll read the Bible. But I'm not going to tell you that I'm a saint and that I read the Bible every day because I don't. The other thing that you can do to make some time is to start off small. So if you start like a Bible plan or something in the Bible app, those usually only take like five to 10 minutes a day, I swear, not even. So if you want to start to make a consistent amount of time for that, you can do a little devotional every day. The Bible plan will have a devotional and it'll have like two or three Bible verses and then that's it. That's your Bible verse for the day. You don't have to read the Bible for 30, yeah, 30 minutes or an hour if you really don't want to. So it's good to start small and then start building up. So hopefully that helps. The next question says, "Starting started watching you, you're doing great, girl, thank you. And advice on becoming more religious or spiritual. So the top thing that you wanna do if you wanna start becoming more religious, religious is kind of like an awful term, but if you want to start getting more into um, Christ and God and all that things, make sure you find a church community. I'm not gonna say that you can't become religious if you don't go to church, but like going to church makes it more easy. So if you find a community of people that they're your age and they, they will literally set you off like this, like you will feel the spirit of God in those people that you are surrounding yourself with at the church. And I promise you, you will just go from there. You'll start attending conferences and you'll start attending special services and you'll start attending like mission trips and stuff like that. But the way that you begin is by going to church, finding a community of people that love God and that you can just feel that the presence of God is in those people. In your home, you want to make sure that you're not just pursuing spirituality in church like you want to make sure that outside of church you start listening to worship music so you just start incorporating that into your music slowly but surely making a little bit of time here and there to read the bible and i promise you god will continue to lead the way i have some amazing christian playlists on my spotify if you guys don't follow me on there you can definitely look at my playlist. I have them all public. I have my Spanish worship music, my English worship music. I have Spanish um, reggaeton, that's Christian. And I have upbeat praise. Like literally I have like Christian music for every type. So if you guys are interested in that, you can go ahead and check out my Spotify. Next question is boy advice. And I have very little, little experience with this. But from the few things that I have experienced in my life, what I can say is to be yourself there's a thing that usually happens when people start to talk to somebody else and it's that they start to compromise their character and you shouldn't ever change yourself to impress somebody else and it's not attractive to other people either when they started to like you a certain way and you start acting different once they like show interest in you so just make sure that you are being yourself staying true to yourself and don't stop going to church. If you go to church, do not stop going to church just because you started talking to a boy. The legendary Bob Bunny also once said, <laughs> which means I never force things, I just let everything flow. And that's exactly how you have to be with men. Men are trash and there's no necessity for you to force things with a man if you see that it's not working. You let things flow, you just be patient. If you see it doesn't work, then you don't have to force it just like let it flow away so anyways the next question is where do you shop i shop at a lot of different stores for a lot of different things i don't like to limit myself to a certain store so i shop at hollister a lot um hollister paxon h&m i get all of my graphic tees from paxon and from sumi's and I've also been shopping at Shein a lot more recently because they just have everything and everything is so cheap. And I buy all of my jeans from American Eagle. I don't have a single pair of jeans that's from anywhere else. Like American Eagle is where it's at for the jeans. For church clothes, I actually am going to be filming a haul soon. But for church clothes, I actually like to shop at like Ross and TJ Maxx and stuff like that because they have like a lot of nice stuff for church. So I'll be doing a haul soon of all the things that I've gotten in the last few weeks for church. 
The next question is... What is your favorite part of your makeup routine? So, to be honest, I really like my mas doing mascara. Mascara, I feel like, is my top. My eyelashes always look like they're going to fly away. And I love it. I don't wear eyelash extensions. I don't wear fake lashes. But my eyelashes always look like they're going to fly away. And I love it. It's my favorite part of my face. The next question is, who are your celebrity crushes? Oh, I love Raúl Alejandro and Maluma. What's your go-to nail color? Um, I usually go for white. I don't ever actually do like my fingernails. In the summertime, I get like pedicures and stuff because you know your, your toes are out. You're wearing sandals, so I usually just get white. I got blue one time, and I just felt like it looked awful, so I usually just go for white. I think that that is going to be it. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you want to see next. And subscribe to my channel. Subscribe button is down below. Along with all of my social media links, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Spotify, and my VSCO. And I will see you guys next week.